We're Max, Jack and Richard and we're here to talk about carbon footprint and how we can reduce it by buying locally. We all know that our world is heating up from the amount of greenhouse gases that are entering the atmosphere as a result of burning fossil fuels. Your carbon footprint is how much carbon is put into the atmosphere as a result of the energy you use in your everyday life, like driving your car or using electricity to power your house or anything that uses energy from burning fossil fuels. We'll give you two examples of energy use that add to your carbon footprint. Direct use is when you drive a car or fly across the world and even the electricity in your home. Direct use is when companies have used energy to make something that you buy like food from the supermarkets. For example, onions from America where they have burnt petrol and growing. Energy for producing the bag and the obvious huge amount of fuel to get it all the way to the supermarket. Here's some examples we found in our local food land. One of the solutions is we could buy Australian made. But even better, we could buy locally. Yeah, it's really important to buy local produce and in South Australia we've got fantastic produce um, but it's good to sort of support the smaller, the smaller growers and smaller companies so it's really important to go local. Yeah, so local produce is, is great because it doesn't take as long to get to your kitchen. Um, so if you're getting something from overseas, some fresh produce, there's all sorts of uh, preservatives and gases that go into that packaging to, to uh, make it um, have a longer life on the shelf. Why do you shop at the central market? Because the produce is fresh and local. Do you think buying local is important? Very much so. Yep. Because it keeps the farmers in work and stops people bringing rubbish in from overseas. But best of all, we can grow our own produce. The best way to reduce your carbon footprint indirectly is probably two things. To buy as much food as you can locally and to also make as much food as you can at home, which means try and cut out your convenience and processed food. So now we have shown you some ways to reduce your carbon footprint by buying local. So it's up to you to change the world. And remember, think global, act local!